Hello, Leslie. Hi, Leonard. Leslie, I would like to propose an experiment. Goggles, Leonard. Right. <laughs> Leslie, I would like to propose an experiment. Hang on. I'm trying to see how long it takes a 500 kilowatt oxygen iodine laser to heat up my cup of noodles. <laughs> I've done it. About two seconds. 2.6 for minestrone. Anyway, I was thinking more of a biosocial exploration with a neurochemical overlay. Wait, are you asking me out? I was going to characterize it as the modification of our colleague slash friendship paradigm with the addition of a date like component, but we don't need to quibble over terminology. What sort of experiment would you propose? There is a generally accepted pattern in this area. I would pick you up, take you to a restaurant, then we would see a movie, probably a romantic comedy featuring the talents of Hugh Grant or Sandra Bullock. Interesting. And would you agree that the primary way we would evaluate either the success or failure of the date would be based on the biochemical reaction during the goodnight kiss? Heart rate, pheromones, etc. yes. <laughs> well, why don't we just stipulate that the date goes well and move to the key variable? You mean kiss you now? Yes. Can you define the parameters of the kiss? Closed mouth, but romantic. Mint? Thank you. <laughs> Shall I count down from three? No, I think it needs to be spontaneous. <laughs> what do you think? You propose the experiment. I think you should present your findings first. Fair enough. On the plus side, it was a good kiss, reasonable technique, no extraneous spittle. <laughs> On the other hand, no arousal. None? None. Ah. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> None at all? <laughs> Sheldon, if you were a robot, and I knew and you didn't, do you want me to tell you? That depends. When I learn that I'm a robot, will I be able to handle it? Maybe, although the history of science fiction is not on your side. Okay. Uh, let me ask you this. When I learn that I'm a robot, would I be bound by Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics? You might be bound by them right now. That's true. Have you ever harmed a human being or through inaction allowed a human being to come to harm? Of course not. Have you ever harmed yourself or allowed yourself to be harmed except in cases where a human being would have been endangered? Well, no. I smell a robot. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Internet's been down for half an hour. Also, Sheldon may be a robot. So, how'd it go with Leslie? Oh, we tried kissing, but the Earth didn't move. I mean, any more than the 383 miles that it was going to move anyway. Oh, I've seen that look before. This is just going to be two weeks of moping and tedious emo songs and calling me to come down to pet stores to look at cats. I don't know if I can take it. You could power down. Well, as usual, Wallowitz has the solution. I happen to know a place where there are plenty of eligible women and Leonard could have his pick. the Latin hips, the shoulders stay still, and we sway. One, two, three, five, six, seven. I think Mrs. Tishman's got her eye on you. I've been there. You're in for a treat.